So I've got some bad news. The government of Canada has now stopped us from building diesel electric semi trucks. So let's take a look at why they did that and how stupid these EV mandates really are. All right, let's get into why Environment Climate Change Canada won't allow us to build a plug-in hybrid semi-truck. It has to do with the engine we have selected, and it has to do with the fact that they haven't made enough regulations. Yes, they made rules that by 2035, 100% of vehicles have to go plug-in hybrid, but they haven't made the rules to allow plug-in hybrid. The crux of the issue is in the engine we selected and how it works. So our vehicles are, for all intents and purposes, 100% electric. They have batteries that drive electric axles, but then when the batteries get low, the generator fires up and recharges the batteries so that you can keep moving. It's awesome. We even showed them like, look, it's we're running a much smaller engine. Instead of a 15, we're running a nine. We're running a flatline RPM. It's better for the environment. We're reducing less fuel. We kind of showed them all this. They're like, yes, that's exactly why we want plug-in hybrids, but because of this, we had to use a generator and that's where the problem lies. They came back in our application and said, hey, you can't use a generator because those are classified as off-highway emissions tier four final. You need an on-highway emissions tier four final. And we said, nobody makes an on-highway generator certified because we're one of the first people building plug-in hybrids. There's no other engine manufacturer building on road because the demand isn't there. Can we use an off-highway as a generator? It's, they're both tier four final, it's better for the environment. They said no, because that's what the rules is, you need on highway. And they asked us, why can't you use an on-highway engine? And we said, because it doesn't work the same. A generator senses the load coming onto the back of the alternator and the governor increases the fuel to match that load. An on-highway truck engine, you step on the throttle pedal, it dumps fuel in the engine and you get mechanical power. So one, you send fuel to get load, the other one senses load and adjusts fuel accordingly. So we can't use that. So we asked, what do we do? And they basically after a few weeks of deliberating said, yeah, you can't build a plug-in hybrid semi-truck. We have no legislation that allows you to do that right now. So we've been trying to go ahead with getting our plug-in hybrids ready for the market, but we've hit a little bit of a hiccup with the um, Environment and Climate Change Canada. They're not allowing us to use the generator as we expected since it's only spec for off-highway use, not on-highway. So now we're going to have to go get our emissions mark starting with the mechanical trucks and the Cummins engines instead of the generators that we want to use for the hybrids. When you have a targets for 2030, all of the vehicle fleet being either electric or plug-in hybrid and not being able to actually have a Canadian manufacturer make these plug-in hybrids makes it really difficult to be able to meet that and doesn't make a lot of sense when we have a system in place that has less emissions than a diesel engine and yet we're being forced to move forward with that diesel engine instead. It's really tough to be able to move forward with the hybrid vehicles just because they're not allowing us to get our emissions marked so we can't actually sell these hybrid vehicles until we have that emissions mark. And we've been in contact with the minister's policy staff and we've been reviewing any potential exemptions or any changes to the legislation itself. But if we aren't able to arrive at anything to get that generator used in the trucks, we're gonna be forced to run all of the testing and certification on our own dime to be able to get these hybrid electric vehicles into the market. How does that affect us as a small company? <laughs> Yikes. That's a lot of money, it's really prohibitive, and it's an undue burden for us when we're really just trying to push the needle forward in driving sustainability. So I've been working super hard up here in the office. We got a bit of a quagmire. Funny enough, Transport Canada is pretty cut and dry. You just basically go through the compliance and you make sure that all your parts match up. But emissions regulation is kind of a mess when it comes to building a hybrid, because there's no legislation that exists and we're trying super hard to work with the department. Uh, but we're kind of having issues, right? They don't seem to get that the engine that we're using is actually a generator, not a on-road certified engine or a mechanical one. So we're trying our best to kind of educate the government right now, but it's just been a lot of back and forth, hoping that you know we can get access to some ministers to help and kind of get some common sense going because the last thing we want to have is emission regulation getting in the way of building EVs. You know, I'm a pretty polite guy, pretty reserved, and I think out of all the interactions we've had the last year with government, 
uh, the emission department is the only one I've actually sworn at because it's so frustrating, right? The department that's trying to help with the environment is the one stopping us from building EVs. How stupid can you be? For the government right now wanting to stimulate Canadian business and make sure that we're eliminating red tape, I think it's kind of an overreach that the government won't come to a compromise and get us fast-tracked to production here. Right now, we actually cannot build hybrid vehicles to the point where we might just have to drop it all together. So really urge anybody to go out to their ministers, go out to their MPs, and get them educated on this subject, because we definitely need an exemption. You know, frustrating it is for the last three years, I've been working my butt off on trying to help the environment and build electric vehicles in Canada. But right now, East Triple C is actually recommending that we build 18 speeds with mechanical engines. It's frickin' stupid. And you know what's funny is the government themselves have given a grant to build a truck and their own department for emissions is stopping us from delivering the truck. It's crazy. But you know what? I work every day tirelessly to get through the red tape because it is worth it. We want to build the best electric vehicles for heavy duty applications and I'm not going to stop until we freaking get it. All right, don't worry. It's not all doom and gloom. We got some great plan A, B and C. Plan A, there's exemptions that the government can give us to do this. There is uh, exemptions for financial hardship exemptions, low vehicle volume manufacturing exemptions, Canada unique exemptions. There's some hybrid exemptions, although the hybrid ones don't apply to generators being off-road, even though that's what we need. So they could amend that. They asked it could take one to two years to do that, which is unfortunate. It's not gonna delay us too much. We can get a little bit creative on how we do the testing with our customers, because we'll still be able to test our trucks. And number two, Environment Climate Change Canada said, we have no problem with you building 18 speed transmissions with 15 liter diesels, build a mechanical, because they gave the example of a Cummins X15. They just certified another one last week. They look at them all the time. They have no problem with those motors. It's tried, it's proven, it's on highway. And thank God, sometimes things just work out. We were already looking at the mechanical route because the hybrids are still experimental. We want to get to production so we can sell trucks, use a profit from those trucks to fund, to fund the development of the hybrids. So we were already going down the route of mechanical, which means we have engine differential rear ends. We have all the parts ready to go. We are currently submitting that right now. We actually just submitted that a few days ago for the mechanical truck that they told us to build. Frustrating, but that keeps us going for the next two years. It's not the end of the world. We're gonna still be making trucks. It's just very, very frustrating when the government of Canada says, we like what you're doing so much that in 10 years, everybody's gonna to have to be doing what you're doing, but you can't do it. Government bureaucracy, EV mandates make absolutely no sense. They're making rules before technology exists and <laughs> Rules don't exist because the technology doesn't exist, but they're mandating the end thing. Just government bureaucracy. We're getting through it. We will get through it. We're going to continue to make trucks. I'm just annoyed.